Hey, what's in working, guys? Today we have Mateo. Cancer. Yes. And he's playing. What are you playing? I or what did you play? I played play? in Dimion Guard Dragon. In Dimion Guard Dragon. And I, how did you do? Not today, but I played it before at regionals and it did very well. Yes. And you went XO several times with it. So. At, at locals, but locals yeah. doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we have some pretty good players here. So. We do, we do actually. We yeah. have the regional topping god that yeah. literally never plays in the locals anymore. And me. Huh? Anyways, no, all right, never. let's go straight to it. Dude. All right, uh, three of the best cards in the deck. This is the one that special summons. Yeah, and then you play the targets. Uh, this card is nuts if you can summon it before your um, electromite because it protects it from every hand trap except for permanence. Yes. So busted. Um, this thing I only like summon after. I never really summon it off of this that much. Yeah. Oh, because that unless one I already doesn't... have this in my hand. Yeah. But it's still a really good card, especially. It's good against strikers. Right? It's amazing against strikers. Yeah. I, now I play two cards that can't be targeted. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's it for those. Obviously, three chrono and the time gazer. Free summons. Free summons all day. If you draw this, it really sucks. Just well, ask him. Just deal with it. <laughs> just ask yeah. him. Uh, three harmonizing, two purple poison, one black fang. So just six for the magician engine. Six for the magician engine. I wanted to play dragon pit. But at the regionals, it severely underperformed. I literally never used its pendulum effect. Yeah, what about Dragon Caller? Dragon Caller. No, sorry, that's the one I wanted. I was talking about. Oh, Dragon, Dragon Caller, okay. I, I literally never use the pendulum effect. You play so many dragons, you never need it. True, and you can always send it off Electrum Light, right? Yeah, I mean. But there's other things. There are better there's, there's things. There's some spicy things. There, you can do better things off of Electromite, but still sending sending Dark Worm is a good idea. Yeah. Because even if, you, if especially if you haven't normal summoned yet, then yeah. you can still get this. Yeah, and then that gives you more cards. And it, yeah, you just get more advantage. Yeah. Uh, if you play more than one of this, don't. I'm talking to you. Wink, wink. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge, tickle, tickle. Uh, this is just nuts in general. Uh, I play these for Ignister. Ignister's busted, doesn't target, and it shuffles. And it gives you a free monster. Yeah, that too. Well, usually you get rid of a scale. Yeah. The thing is, the, these can't use, be used for synchros. It doesn't really matter because you're going to be overlaying them most of the time. Yeah. But you can't use them for uh, the main thing you want to overlay for. But that's honestly not a big deal. Yes, I did just drop everything. Yeah, it's good. Um, Amorphages. So Thinking of cutting tree. Lechery. Lechery did well. It's very amazing against Sky Strikers. Because if you set up Can't Special from Extra with the Lechery, they just lose because yeah. they can't activate spells. No special link from Extra and no. Uh, yeah, because against, against Sky Strikers, it doesn't matter if you get your combo off as long as you have this. Yeah. With one of these on field, you win. Pretty much. And yeah. then, like, these are really good against mine because it can clear your monsters for their cost for staying in pendulum scale. Oh, yeah. That's, that's one way I outed mine one of the games. Because it was like standby phase uh, tribute for cost for mine. Yeah. And that's how I ended up outing it a couple of times because then it just destroys itself during end phase. True. And then yeah. after that. And they're just walking vanity's fiends, so. Yeah, they're walking Pretty vanity's good. fiends. This one has to be a pendulum summon. Always remember that. Oh, okay. But the other two, it's just like you can literally just tribute some of them. Salaman Great literally can't out this card. And the only way they out this one is by a jackal boost or by spinny boosting a jackal. Yes. Which they only play one of, anyways. Yeah. So if you see them spinny boost it, you can just negate that, and then they literally can't out it without yeah, setting rage in beforehand. Yeah. And then one Distrudo for your combo. Just a good card in general as well. Helps you go into your guard dragons if you really brick hard. And it's not bad if you open it too. Yeah, I've seen. You've seen one of those hands where you have I've to. I've seen like, one of those hands <laughs> where you have to Distrudo, distrudo in the yeah. dumbest way. I mean, um, it works. It's uh, it's gonna be an LP, right? I've never drawn two of these in a hand. When you do, it really does suck because yeah. this it's hard, obviously. Yeah. If you already have a servant, sometimes it's not a terrible idea to search another servant. Yeah. Just because you get the free bounce for the uh, Mighty Master. True. Because you can just bounce the scale instead of bouncing itself, yeah. and then losing more advantage. Uh, you want your place to go through. Obviously, getting hand trapped yeah, sucks. Yeah, sucks getting ogre, ash in some ogre, materials. Veiler in your uh, electromite really sucks. Yeah. But that's if that's like jackal protects it, and then so does the call by the graves. Yeah. You always want to make sure you have jackal first before you yeah. do your electromite plays. If you can, if you if can you help can, it. Yeah. yeah. They're really good cards. Uh, two pen call, two duelist alliance. So they're basically four copies of pen call. Yeah, four copies of pen call. These can, in a pinch, search the uh, Draco Slayers. Yeah. If you need more dragons, like if you really like, let's say you drew both of these and yeah. then one of these, 
Or if you really need a dragon, you can search it with this. True. I did that once, I think, because it was really late game. Yeah. Against like a striker player or something. So or against a mine, actually, because I Ignister shuffled the mine. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Because <laughs> it was the only monster in my field because he had a Kagari oh, or a Shizuku nice. or something. Uh, I am. I'm a pussy, so I only play two desires. Ooh. It's the best and worst card in the entire deck. Sometimes it'll banish all of your servant targets. Yeah. Usually you don't want to do it right away, but sometimes you don't, don't have a choice. Yeah, but yeah, the name of Pendulum is basically advantage. So yeah, you, want you cards, need uh, you need more draws, really bad. Uh, Foolish Dragon Shrine. Yeah. Because Destrudo and because Dark Worm. Yeah. Oh, and if you guys are wondering the, about the sleeves, yeah, it's just, I uh, played BA Orcus today instead. Yeah. Because so we're just doing it because we don't have sleeves for yeah. now. Well, I, do, I have them, but I'm too lazy to switch them. And then sure. upstart. Upstart. Consistency. 39 card, <laughs> well, plus spell counters yeah. as well. Yeah, it gives, yeah, it gives you spell Gives counters. you nice spell counters, helps your servant get through. Uh, ash bait. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not ash bait. I um, mean, <laughs> there's going to be... There's going to be that one One dumbass. rare person, yeah. Yeah, the one guy that negates upstart. Right, so that's 40 cards. No, in no, 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 no. Upstart and negates it with dark red. Yikes. And then you yeah. draw one more card. Uh, Broken. So, electric, best card in the deck. Best card. Yeah, it's nuts. It's bring back the two, good. please. <laughs> Petition to bring back no. the two. No, 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 no. Bring back um, Astro Wrap. Oh, please no. <laughs> <laughs> please no. Uh, your Guard Dragon stuff. Yeah. So this uh, is what uh, Dark Worm evolves into. <laughs> Dark Worm, no, this is... Uh, Dark Worm's evolution This is form. next evolution, okay? I see. Uh, it turns into a uh, Guard Dragon card. Uh, then you play the target. Yes. And then if you're going second, you can summon the Bull Sword. True. Off of the Argar Pain. Uh, the Agar Pain yeah. If you really need to kill them. And you can um, always just hard make it too, right? Yeah, these two. Uh, I I don't play Cerberus. One, because extra deck is tight. And then two, because I just like Phoenix and Unicorn. True. And they're generic. like They're super generic. Good, yeah. um, against Mystic Mine, obviously you can do this and keep drawing more cards. So because this doesn't adds. activate. Yeah. Pro tip, do that in every deck where you play Nightmares. Especially if you can do like Nuts Mermaid. Uh, Phoenix, Unicorn, Cerberus, and yes. almost extra link them and draw like four cards every turn. That's pretty good. Like if you see them open mine, especially if they open the uh, the thing that lets them see the top three cards. Yeah. If you can even do like the three with the Cerberus. Oh, then it doesn't then matter. Then you draw. Then you draw it, three yeah. cards anyways. Yeah. And then you're gonna end up discarding at the end of the turn, but who cares? Yeah, true. Uh, I mean, Cerberus, you're, you're digging for mist. Cerberus, you run like cards that help you out Cerberus, or like things that Cerberus would out. Yeah. Uh, Evermax came out in Dane. It's really, really good against Striker, which this deck kind of struggles against, just because Striker gets so much advantage. Yeah. Just native. And it's also easy to make because Pendulum counts as. Yeah, if you spe especially for extra yeah. counts for this for Pendulum monsters. Yeah. Uh, it's really easy to make. I missed it so much when I didn't have one. Yeah. Uh, Savage Dragon, part of your combo. Ignister, going That's second, Loki's best super card. Good. What? That's still a really good card. Yeah. Ignister. I wish I had an ulti, but I don't. Uh, yeah. And then for your combo, if you don't go full combo, you can do this yeah. instead of Savage Dragon. Obviously, Savage Dragon is better because Omni Negate. Yeah. But it's still, you know, a really good card. Those are your Synchros, and then the two Xyzes. Broken. There's so, so many you ways don't to play, make it. Um, What's his name? The rank seven, absolute. Absolute is garbage. Because you can just uh, agar paint the uh, vortex. Right? I can agar paint the vortex. There's no reason to play absolute in this version. Yeah. In normal, without guard dragons, you have to play absolute. Yeah. But like, I don't even play that many level sevens. Like, yeah, I think it's true. just the mighty master that I play for level sevens. Yeah, and then the two donuts or the one donut. The one donut, and then technically dragon pits level yeah. seven, but I never played it. Yeah. So yeah, it makes sense. The <laughs> only thing I ever used dragon pit for at regionals was just a scale. It's a scale two. And so also, when in doubt, just blind dweller people. <laughs> when in doubt, blind dweller. You might just win the game. <laughs> you, you, yeah, you could be playing against uh, most of the decks this format, let's be honest. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this thing is nuts. It's better Boral Sword. True. It steals all the attack. I and remember... He, does I was, he gain the attack? It gains all of the attack, and it lowers the opponent's monster to zero. Oh, that's... that's so what I did, damage. I was playing against a dino player. Yeah. I baited out his uh, dino thing, because he thought I was playing Cerberus, right? So you have to flip once they get two monsters. Yeah. Or else he's going to go into C uh, Cerberus and kill it. Yeah. So I just made him think I had Cerberus, so he flipped it down. I pen summoned, was able to make this with harmonizing in the thing it summoned. Oh, yeah. Be over his uh, 3,500... Uh, so you gained 35. Boy. So it did seven... 75. Se no, right, it did no. 7,000 7, damage. 7,000, yeah. That's it a lot of damage. It was nuts. It, it was the game. Like, yeah, that's a lot of damage. It, it was so much damage because uh, it's such a good card. Um, I saw he, he was actually playing the Synchro today, which is really good. 
but to break boards. It's but. good to break boards, but Ignister, I just prefer. Does that? Yeah. Because it board wipes, it dark, it, like it regekis them, but a lot of things don't care right now. Yeah, the regek is not really the best card. Yeah, Ignister is just, in my opinion, more generic. It's yeah. a good card, especially because free specials, and then you get whatever you want. True. Just remember, you can't do this and Distrudo into a Dawn Dragster, just because you can't use whatever you summon for a synchro material. True. I remember first when I picked up this deck, I didn't notice that, and then it hit me in the ass a couple of times. Yikes. But yeah, the Xyzas I'm pretty confident in. There's nothing else I really want to play. So you you wouldn't change anything from this deck. For the extra, um, Avermax is kind of in testing right now. Yeah, it's a that good used to card. be Borload, right? It used to be either Borload or Scaldi. Yeah, I I kind of switched between the two. Scaldi, you never use the draw four effect. You more use it for the free special. True. And, but, the, and the dragon. Yeah, well, it's a dragon, but it's gonna end up linked for an aggro pain either way. Yeah. Most of the time. But if you want, I'll show off like the main combo right, for the deck. Sucks. So if you just have your Electrum, uh, literally any of your dragons. So for I'll just use Dark Worm, and then literally any trash effect monster. So yeah, like a random. So like if yeah. you if just as an example, that's all you need for combo. And it's a pendulum deck, so it's not that hard to get to. There's a lot of cards that let you go into Electromite without obviously pen summoning. Yeah. And you, obviously you want to do that before you pen summon. Never summon anything in the zone that... Well, obviously it's not always going to be this zone, but if you yeah. don't ever summon anything here, yeah. because you need this zone to be a dragon for your combo. True. So, so zoning I'll, matters. Zoning... Well, zoning usually matters. With Hashtag zones. zoning matters. Zoning matters. I swear we're not playing... Uh, uh, we're going to title this Zoning Matters. Yeah. So you link for LP, you link for Triple Burst. And then you LP. LP's ability. For your Dark Worm. Not Dark Worm. For your Distrudo. If you banish your Distrudo with Desires or something like that, just do Dark Worm. Yeah. You can also do one of the. You can the do the Igisters. Tuner Ignister yeah. thing. Yeah. Because the normal monster is a tuner. Yeah. If you want to go for something. Or no, the effect monster is a tuner. But you have to use it for the Ignister. Yeah. If you need a breaker board, you can do that. But. I don't recommend it. Yeah. So just to clarify, this is like when you have Electromite. This is just Elect a simple combo. Electromite, this can extend even more. You if can you extend this someone really more. hard if you, well, doing the whole combo before pen summon is really hard. Yeah. But doing just like, just like having part of it before the pen summon makes you yeah. be able to extend really hard. Yeah. Especially with your harmonizing magician. Yeah. So this whole thing is up three cards. This is so the one dragon, the one electromite, which you make all the time. Yeah. And then the one random card. Yeah, this And you could have two more. Honestly, if you draw the right cards, your electromite getting veilered or in permanence doesn't, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that much, yeah. But that's if you draw the right hand. Obviously yeah. electromite's more of a consistency card. True. Uh, so you're gonna special your vortex. And then you just Heavenly Spheres. Yeah. And obviously, like, it doesn't look like a lot, but that's off of very few cards. Yeah, if, you could have, like, a Jackal here. Like, the the nuts, the most nuts board I've ever made is Jackal. This was through an Ash, because I called by the Grave Dead, but it was Jackal on and Dimion here. I had Savage Dragon here. Yeah. And then I had this, uh, the Dark Worm available in Grave, but since my zones were full, I couldn't make a Dawn Dragster here. Yeah. But I could have made Dawn Dragster if obviously I was able to. Yeah. So this is like the one spell trap you get yeah. here. Yeah. Well, you have... Uh, what's the name? Master and Dimion. Yeah. Because you get Omni Negate, Bounce, Omni Negate, sp uh, Monsters, Spell Traps. Yeah. And then, and then this thing then, can kill Strikers by itself. And then you would have scales for next turn, you would have like... Yeah, sometimes you'll have one scale, sometimes you'll have two, depending on if you do your Electromite before or after you Pendulum Summon. Yeah. So this is like... The this ideal is end board that full you combo. Yeah. Like, this deck... Um, I don't have the full side deck today but it's one, always of the tips, up to play one of the tips I'll give for people side decking for this is run cards that win the game by themselves if you draw them yeah so like for example Lancia's win the game automatically against your orcas because you set this up afterwards and it doesn't matter what they have after yeah like it almost solo wins the matchup if you know what I mean yeah and then, you can and then stuff like sphere modes auto win the matchup yeah. Denko's auto win the striker matchup uh, Pankratops like can break boards almost by itself by attacking over something and then just popping something. Yeah, and you can also pendulum summon it, if anything. Like if you yeah. open two. Yeah. Yeah. Because like you have a bunch of eight skills. Yeah. 
But that's if, only if you're going first. Yeah. It, it, like, let's say they do something weird and they force you to go first when you side deck for going second, you can do that. Yeah. I've never done that because usually there's nothing that's surprising you with if it, it's going first or second this yeah. format. Yeah. There hasn't been something like that for so long. Yeah. Any last comments, sir? Um, play this. It's very fun and it's surprisingly cheap. I think it's cheap. pretty budget. Like, it uh, shout outs. Uh, I guess just the guys I play test with. Uh, all the guys from Untouchables. Broken. The broken. Look. And then I have a trash YouTube channel that you should never go to. I'm not even gonna have him link it because it's that bad. Wow, come on, just I, give I, us the link. <laughs> no, the funny thing, <laughs> Reveal like the my group. most viewed video on that channel is a Fortnite video that I made as a joke. Yikes. I made like a meme review parody, and it, oh. people took it seriously. Yikes. And now, <laughs> and now you're like, a YouTuber. <laughs> it got like 5,000 views. <laughs> and now you're a YouTuber. <laughs> and now I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> so shout out to you. And shout out to... No, don't ever show me out. All right. Like, ever. Well, I thank you for the deck profile, the yeah. spicy deck profile. We hope to see you soon. Yeah. And don't play Zephyrus. Keep invoking. Keep no. invoking. Keep invoking. No, yeah, stay invoking, guys. Uh, field Center's coming soon. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, that update. Field Center coming soon. Yeah, we're working on it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, bye. Uh, I just wanted to try something new with uh, these deck profile videos that Team Invoker is now doing. Um, since I have taken over editing them, I decided why not try something different for the first few. And for these uh, few deck profiles, after the in real life kind of section where we're physically giving the deck profile. I wanted to kind of come on here and then more show you A, the price of the deck in depth in many different ways, and then B, kind of some tips for playing the deck and how to really utilize it to its fullest. So uh, moving on to the price section of the deck, um, on the lowest possible rarity, uh, everything being, for example, at its lowest rarity at Unlimited or whatever's cheapest on Troll and Toad. By the way, pl pl please sponsor us. Sponsor us. Um, I was able to get it to $290. Uh, that is a lot of money. Um, to be honest, that number is very inflated because of two things. One, many of these cards are not necessary whatsoever. And two, many of them also have cheaper counterparts that you can play. It's like the Veil of Versus Impermanence kind of thing. What Are you going to play the thing that will give you a slightly higher chance of winning, or are you going to play what you can afford? Um, great examples of this is Boralode Savage Dragon and Boral Sword. Boral Sword you can just replace with Boralode, and in most of the time it'll do kind of the same thing, just apply that out to K-Pressure, uh, non-targeting, non-destruction removal even, um, and then also, Borderlord Savage Dragon is only really for you when you go for those absolutely crazy boards, and you won't summon it that much, but out of the two, I would say it's better to have Borderlord Savage Dragon. Um, for example, more cards such as this, uh, none of the cards individually are very expensive, um, for example, one of the great cards to cut cost on is Unicorn. You can easily downgrade that to a Cerberus to save even th almost $30. Uh, you can completely cut Scaldi, replace it with honestly anything you want. You could put, one card I would recommend is possibly, you know, just uh, Beat Cop even would work. Just as a replacement link to with the same arrows as Electromite. I used to run Beat Cop in my old build, I replaced it for just the Savage Dragon. It's because I felt like I didn't use it that much, but obviously I have not play tested this as much as some people. Um, you can easily cut Scaldi for expensive cards. Some cards just aren't cuttable though, sadly, such as Triple Burst and Sloth, but a large amount of the extremely expensive cards can quite easily be cut from the deck completely, which can lower its price quite a bit. And when you compare it to something like Danger Thunder, even the variants that run the prize card, those are extremely expensive. In comparison, this is slightly more budget. You don't need the more expensive cards, as we said in the physical profile, but when it comes to this deck, many of its combos are easy to understand, but when you can augment them in so many different ways, it becomes a lot more difficult. Um, just to get the most optimal board, there's so many little things that are really hard to go over in a video, 
without examples and without you having to play it yourself. So my best uh, my best piece of advice for this is just go on YGO Pro. Just go place test it. Even if you want, you can use the playtesting tool on Dueling Book, and that's a great tool you can use. Draw, test hands, combo off as much as you want. Whenever I have free time, there's uh, the app that you can use to just practice combos. Whenever you have, you know, time in between classes or when you're not on break at work, just practice the Endymion combos, and you'll be able to properly play the deck in due time. Uh, one quick thing I did want to mention just in this segment is the ruling for ashing or interrupting Servant of Endymion. Uh, so let's just open it up here. I don't know if that's going to be a good enough image, but um, the official ruling is if you ash the scale effect of Servant of Endymion, what happens is you still pay the cost of removing three spell counters, and then... You can still attempt later on in your turn, if you were able to give it three more spell counters, to tr attempt to use the effect again. Now, knowing this, many players that know the ruling will not Ash this card, because they know that it won't give them advantage. And that's the point of Ash, is to stop your opponent and give you advantage. Um, knowing that, you can summon Jackal, and then that can protect your Electromite from all other hand traps which is one of the kind of hang-ups for your opponent. Do they take the neg by ashing the servant and hoping you can't put more spell counters on it? Or do they hope you can't resolve the servant or try and double hand trap their way through the Electromite? Uh, that's one of the more interesting rulings, which is what I wanted to bring up very quickly. Uh, another thing that caught me really hard when I wasn't paying attention playing this deck is Time Gazer's Pendulum Effect. If there is no Magician in the opposing Pendulum Scale, or Odd Eyes card, but for this deck it's just Magicians, the scale becomes a 4. This is very bad. Um, 4 scales are almost completely useless in this deck, because most of the good cards are level 4s, obviously. Uh, your Dark Worms, all your Magician cards. The only thing you would reasonably be able, to, be able to pen summon is your Jackals and your Endymions, which by themselves aren't doing much. So I just did want to bring those up very quickly because they can be extremely useful when you're, you know, playing this deck. Uh, both of those rulings have caught me out both at the local level and one of which was at the regional level. I heard three different rulings for Servant of Damion during the Toronto Regionals. It wasn't a fun time. We had to go to a judge each time. Um, yeah, overall, I do think that the deck has an extremely high ceiling. Uh, its tournament results have shown that it can compete at a very high level. It has multiple tops at YCS and regionals and nationals, even a few WCQ tops, which is very exciting. Uh, overall, I really hope that you enjoyed this little segment. If you'd like to see more things like this where I kind of sit and talk one-to-one -one with you guys talking about the more in-depth aspects and the especially the price for the more budget players, which can be very helpful, uh, please let me know down below. Uh, if you enjoyed, maybe just like and maybe subscribe to Team Invoker if you don't find me too irritating. And if you'd like to see more, well, just stick along for the ride. Uh, soon we will be going to WCQ, so there should be quite a few videos on that. We'll gobble up all the deck profiles we can from there. Uh, hopefully one of us will get a top, but that's very wishful thinking. Uh, if any of you see any of us, if you can even recognize any of us, don't feel bad to say hi, and I'll see you guys all next time. Keep invoking.